exclusive contract with Felu Novel Network Novel. Three Kingdoms Opening with a glass cup for a title, Amazing Craftsmanship, Amazing Craftsmanship. There are even such treasures in this world, ha ha ha, great, within the palace. Lu Xian looked up at Emperor Ling of Han, who was holding a glass with a red face, and silently glanced at the eunuch serving beside him. He secretly felt proud and said, it seems that my title is stable. Traveling through the three kingdoms, there were still four years before the outbreak of the Yellow Turban Uprising. At the beginning, Lu Xian exchanged his title and position as a county magistrate with Emperor Ling of Han through a glass cup. From then on, Lu Xian embarked on a path of dominating the world. Half farming flow, half infrastructure flow, and competition flow. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Long Yen Dayue You are listening at NovelFull.audio Time Spring, March, 180 AD Location Luoyang, the imperial capital, the imperial city Inside the imperial study Okay, okay, okay Emperor Ling of Han, Lu Honglong, Yan Daiyue. In front of him was a crystal clear glass cup without any impurities. Compared to this transparent crystal glass cup, the set originally placed on the table was mixed with various colors, and the semi-transparent glass cup looked extremely dim. Good baby, good baby, good baby. Lu Hong carefully picked up the glass, as if looking at some rare treasure. He gently touched and supported it, carefully examining it from top to bottom, his face filled with excitement and satisfaction. Time slowly passes by. I don't know how long it will take. Lu Hong just regained his senses. Glancing at the young man waiting quietly with his head lowered below, he said, Lu Xian, right. Grassman Lu Xian, see your majesty. Lu Xian bowed respectfully. I heard you are also a member of my Lu clan. Lu Hong asked. Yes your majesty, Chao Min is a descendant of Prince Jing of Zhongshan, Lu Sheng, son of Emperor Jing of Han. Lu Xiandao. Zhang Rang. Lu Hong suddenly said to the eunuch beside him. The old slave is here, Zhang Rang responded. Go check the genealogy inside the ancestral temple. After Lu Hong finished speaking, he picked up the glass again and looked at it. The old slave obeys. After Zhang Rang responded, he quietly walked towards the door. Lu Xian remained respectfully standing still in place. Lu Hong, who was addicted to the glass, did not notice. When Zhang Rang passed by Lu Xian, he smiled meaningfully at him. Half an hour later, Zhang Rang returned. Silently arrived by Lu Hong's side. How is it? Lu Hong asked. The old servant has already checked, and what Lu Xian said is true. He is indeed the descendant of Prince Jing of Zhongshan, Lu Sheng. Zhang Rang said. Well, that's great. Lu Hong's gaze towards Lu Xian became increasingly friendly. Half an hour later, Lu Xian withdrew from the imperial study with satisfaction, holding the appointment document stamped by Lu Hong. Along with him came the eunuch Zhang Rang. Congratulations, Lord Lu Xian. Oh no, you should be called the Daijun County Magistrate now. Zhang Rang smiled and continued, No, 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 it's because he didn't speak properly. To be precise, he should call you the Daiho Great Talent. Zhang Ganggang, just call me Lu Xian directly, there's no need to be so polite. Lu Xian also smiled and said, after all, Xian was able to obtain this official position and title thanks to you, Grandpa Zhang. To Grandpa Zhang, a small gift is not a sign of respect. I still invite my subordinates. Speaking, Lu Xian took out a small glass marble from his sleeve and handed it to Zhang Rang. Your Highness, the Prefect, you are so polite. I'm afraid you won't be able to enjoy such treasures. Hee <laughs> hee. What you said sounds great. 
no blessings to enjoy. Divine and blissful consumption. Since you say you have no good fortune, why don't you take it? I took it so happily. After accepting the glass marbles, Zhang Rang's smile became even more brilliant. By the way, Lord Dai Ho. Zhang Rang suddenly spoke up and said, Dai Jun is far away in Yuzhou. Going to Dai Jun to serve is a long journey with many thieves on the way. Moreover, Dai Jun is located north of Xianbei Barbarians, which is very dangerous. If you are willing to wait for a few days, I am willing to intercede for you in front of your majesty and ask him to dispatch some soldiers with you. What do you think? Thank you so much, Grandpa Zhang. Lu Xian did not refuse and exclaimed with great joy. The good news of waiting patiently in Luoyang for a few days and waiting patiently is that. Zhang Rang finished speaking and walked away in a leisurely manner. Three days later. Outside Chang'an City. A convoy is heading away along the official road. The convoy consists of 500 cavalry and dozens of carriages. On one of the carriages. Lu Xian is sitting in the carriage. Ha! Huh. This trip to Luoyang has made a lot of money. Lu Xian, male, water blue star person, traveler. It has been a full three months since I traveled to the Three Kingdoms period. As a traveler, he naturally carried a system with him. The system is called the God Level Taba system, and as long as he has enough reputation, he can buy everything he wants in the system all. So, crossing the seventh day. By borrowing from Li Taibai's poetry, Lu Xian easily gained a considerable reputation. After gaining this reputation, he immediately purchased a batch of historical books related to the Three Kingdoms from the system Mall. And then, he then learned an incredibly important piece of intelligence. That's it, Emperor Ling of Han, Lu Hong, likes to sell officials and titles. Starting from the first year of Guangha, which was 178 AD, Lu Hong began to sell off his official position. It is publicly announced that positions in departments such as Hubin and Yulin under the Guanlu Sun can be purchased with money, ranging from the rank of Marquis of Guanyi to below. After learning this, Lu Xian knew that his opportunity had come. So, he followed a caravan and spent over a month running from Yuzhou to Luoyang. It took me over a month to become a renowned poet in Luoyang by borrowing poems from Li Bai, Du Fu, Wang Wei, Meng Haoran, and others. Later on, he was even crowned as a poetic immortal by the kind-hearted people in Luoyang city. Begging for flowers. Begging for tickets. Begging for rewards. Begging for everything. Chapter 2 Going to the Office you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Begging for flowers. Begging for tickets. Begging for rewards. Begging for everything. Getting fame is just Lu Xian's first step plan. After gaining fame, Lu Xian went to place the eunuch Zhang Rang. I gained Zhang Rang's favor by purchasing glass marbles from the system mall. Originally, the matter of selling official positions and titles was not visible to Lu Hong, and it was all handled by several eunuchs such as Zhang Rang. But, because Lu Xian had established a good relationship with Zhang Rang in advance, Zhang Rang personally took Lu Xian to meet Lu Hong. The glass marbles that Lu Xian gave to Zhang Rang can be purchased with just a little reputation. The crystal glass cup that Lu Xian gave to Lu Hong cost Lu Xian a hundred points of reputation. The exquisite carving of dragon and phoenix patterns on the glass cup, even if placed in later generations, belongs to the category of art. In the Three Kingdoms period, it is simply a rare treasure. How could Lu Hong not like it? So, Lu Honglong and Yen Daiyue. With the secret help of the eunuch Zhang Rang, Lu Xian not only obtained the position of deputy county magistrate, but also the title of county marquis, and even. He also transformed from a black man to a descendant of the Lu clan, after Lu Sheng, the Prince Jing of Zhongshan. From this matter, Lu Xian also saw the immense power of Zhang Rang's several eunuchs. I can even tamper with the Lu clan's genealogy without telling anyone about it. 
Even if there were no outbreak of the Yellow Turban Uprising and Dong Zhuo's political turmoil in the future, the Eastern Han Dynasty would probably have perished. Name Lu Xian Reputation 132124 above is Lu Xian System Properties Panel. The panel is very simple, unbeatable and simple, with only two short lines. One line of name, one line of reputation. And this reputation of 130,000 yuan was earned by him with almost the entire 300 Tang poems. Although the reputation of 130,000 may seem low, it is actually quite a lot. Because. Although a little reputation can only buy a glass marble with little egg value, if you exchange the glass marble for grain, you can buy a whole hundred stones of grain. If one stone is converted into jean, then it is 120 jean. 100 stones, that's 12,000 pounds. However, Lu Xian would not foolishly use his reputation to purchase grain in the mall. Isn't it good for him to directly purchase a few glass marbles and then go to the wealthy families to exchange for food? Using reputation points to purchase grain in the mall can only be used as an emergency option. It's 180 years now, and if I remember correctly, the three brothers Zhang Jiao rebelled in 184, which means I have a full four years of development time. Four years may not be a long time, but I have a system. With the help of the system, I should be able to accumulate a considerable amount of strength. Lu Xian muttered to himself, and a light called Yuang flickered in his eyes. Time slowly and rapidly passes by. Half a month later. Yuzhou, Guangyang County, Jicheng. Under the escort of 500 elite cavalry, a convoy slowly approached from a distance. Although Lu Xian's appointed prefect was personally conferred by Emperor Ling of Han, Lu Hong, as the saying goes, strong dragons do not suppress local snakes. Since we have arrived at someone else's territory and they are our immediate superiors, we still need to visit them. Two hours later. Within the Yuzhou governor's office. Lu Yu warmly received Lu Xian. Lu Xian was wondering why Lu Yu was so enthusiastic even though he hadn't given a gift yet. But soon, Lu Xian understood the reason why Lu Yu was so passionate about him. Originally, Lu Yu is good at poetry. When Lu Xian Gang first traveled to the Three Kingdoms period, in order to earn reputation, he wrote several good poems in Daijun. After hearing these few poems, Lu Yu quickly sent someone to find Lu Xian, but by that time Lu Xian had already gone to Luoyang. Later, Lu Yu also heard of Lu Xian's name as a poetic immortal who composed poetry in Luoyang in three steps, and he became more and more eager to meet Lu Xian and compete with him in his poetry. Can Lu Yu not be excited to hear that Lu Xiandang is visiting now? The two of them talked for two hours before Lu Xian bid farewell from Lu Yu's mansion. Ha! Huh. It can be considered a relief. Lu Xian took a deep breath. I stayed in Jicheng for a few days, and during these days, Lu Xian would run to the governor's office every day, competing with Lu Yuin's poetry and establishing emotional connections. Finally, a few days later, the first batch of 100,000 stones of grain he purchased arrived, and then he bid farewell to Lu Yu and rushed to Daijun. Under Daijun, there are a total of 11 counties, namely Gao Lu, Makang, Daoran, Baipinjiai, Bengxi, Bengxi, Pingshu, Dongganyang, Sangan, Dangcheng, and Daixian. Daixian is the location of the Daijun prefect's office, not Daixian. Although Dai County is the military, economic, and cultural center of the entire Dai County, it is very poor. The entire city wall of Dai County is only two or three meters high, and it is just a mud wall, which does not provide much protection. Lu Xian expressed deep confusion about this. Can the one small wall really withstand the attack of Xianbei people? There's a problem. And the problem is very big. After some investigation, Lu Xian understood the reason. The reason why the walls of Dai County are so dilapidated is that most of the funds allocated by the court to build the walls and the food and supplies for disaster relief have been embezzled by the county magistrate and the county lieutenant. 
The county magistrate is in charge of all government affairs in a county, and the county lieutenant is in charge of military affairs in a county. Under the coexistence of the two, the people of Dai County have words of suffering and can only silently endure it. When Lu Xian heard about this from a hunched old man gnawing on moldy dry food, he instantly became furious. When he entered the county magistrate's office with 500 elite cavalry, he saw the county magistrate and the two of them eating delicacies and drinking and having fun. Chapter 3 Benefits of Opening Warehouse and Releasing Grain You are listening at NovelFull.audio Begging for flowers Begging for tickets Begging for rewards Begging for everything Yuzhou is almost the poorest state in the entire Han Dynasty. And Dai County, within Yuzhou, is a county, ranking third from the bottom. Within the county, the people are struggling to make a living. Lu Xian walked all the way and saw countless hungry people, as well as countless people who dug tree roots and ate bark to fill their stomachs. In times of prosperity and peace, grain prices will naturally not rise, while in times of chaos, grain prices will inevitably rise significantly. And Lu Xian is currently in a chaotic era. You should know. He spent a whole five rare and precious glass marbles from the Three Kingdoms period, finally purchasing 300,000 stones of grain from the hands of aristocratic families. As the saying goes, rarity is precious. If Han Wu were to exchange glass marbles for food now, it would probably be half or even more less. And now. He plagiarized nearly 100,000 stones from the residences of the county magistrate and county captain in Dai County. What is this concept? Dai County, within the prefectural governor's office. When Lu Xian heard this news from his subordinates, he was not only shocked but also shocked. After being shocked, it's anger. Endless anger. Angry Lu Xian wanted to rush directly to the prison and kill the county magistrate and county lieutenant who killed the common people. But he restrained himself. Because before that, he had already planned how those two people would die. Take me over and take a look. Lu Xian is facing the newly appointed county magistrate. Yes, Lord County Magistrate. Under the leadership of the new county magistrate, Lu Xian arrived at the former county magistrate's residence. The first reaction is luxury. The two stone lions at the entrance are vividly carved, and the materials used for the stones are also very good. Inside the mansion, there are towers, pavilions, and everything. And Lu Xian's second reaction to this mansion was big. Covering an area of 5 to 600 acres, it is approximately the size of 50 to 60 standard football fields. If converted to a basketball court, it would be the size of 8 to 900 basketball courts. Under the leadership of the new county magistrate, Lu Xian walked for a long time inside the mansion before finally arriving at the warehouse deep inside. Approach the warehouse. The huge warehouse is filled with grain. A musty and rotten smell filled the warehouse, making Lu Xian nauseous and nauseous. Upon closer inspection, it was discovered that a considerable amount of grain had already gone moldy and spoiled due to being piled up for too long. There are frozen bones on the stinky road of Zhumen's wine and meat. Recalling the scenes of people eating tree bark and grass roots to fill their stomachs that Lu Xian had seen along the way, he finally understood the true meaning of this sentence. Send the order down, after a moment's silence, Lu Xian said, each family can get 50 jin of grain depending on the number of people registered on the registered residence registration, but they can only get it in person Lu Xian had a total of 500,000 stones, including the 200,000 stones of grain found in the plagiarism investigation and the 300,000 stones of grain purchased from aristocratic families. According to the intelligence he learned from the documents of the county governor's office, the registered population of the entire county is approximately 300,000. If each of the 300,000 people distributed 50 kilograms of grain, Lu Xian would have to distribute a total of 15 million kilograms of grain, which is 125,000 stones of grain. Lu Xian can still accept this. There are many benefits to doing so. 
Firstly, it would allow Lu Xian to easily secure the position of Dai County Magistrate. Secondly, Lu Xian can gain a lot of popular support. Thirdly, Lu Xian can gain a great reputation. Fourthly, taking this opportunity, Lu Xian can register all unregistered civilians in the entire Dai County, facilitating future management. Fifth, opening warehouses to release grain can reduce the number of bandits in Dai County. After all, the people of this era are very simple. If it weren't for the sake of a meal, how could they go back and live a life of bloodshed? Sixth, it can attract some people from other counties and counties to come and increase the total population of Dai County. It can be said that it is six kills in one fell swoop. Obey me. The new county magistrate looked at Lu Xian with a moved expression on his face, with a slight tremolo in his voice. Seeing his tearful expression, Lu Xian knew that he had completely won this person's loyalty. By the way, we must explain to the people that if there are people who are not registered in the registered residence register, they only need to register on the spot, and they can also receive 50 stone grains. Yes. Regardless of gender, age, widowhood, or loneliness, you can receive it. Yes. Refugees from other counties and prefectures can also receive food if they want to stay in Daijun and if they want to go back to registered residence in Daijun. Yes. One hour later. Daixian. At the city gate. A county historian walked quickly with a few soldiers and posted a notice at the bulletin board at the city gate. After posting it, one of the soldiers struck the gong and drum in his hand. Dang. 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 The sound of drums and gongs immediately attracted countless people to come and watch. However, most people are illiterate and stand in confusion, waiting for the county historian to read the announcement. People gather more and more. Finally, the county magistrate spoke up and fully conveyed Lu Xian's order to open the warehouse and release grain. Everyone was confused. Chapter 4 Rising Reputation and Popular Desire You are listening at NovelFull.audio Begging for flowers. Begging for tickets. Begging for rewards. Begging for everything. The county historian recited Lu Xian's command three times before leaving. Until the county history leaves, until the county history walks away. After a while. La 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 la. The scene suddenly exploded. Me, me, I. I didn't hear you wrong just now, did I? The new county magistrate wants to open a warehouse to release grain. Anyone registered can receive 50 kilograms of grain. Even those who are not registered can still claim it as long as they register. Both men, women, and children can receive it. True, really fake. Not just Dai Xian. The order of Lu Xian to open the warehouse and release grain is aimed at the entire Dai County. At the moment he gave the order, the historians quickly rushed to the major counties under Dai County. The large counties are transmitting orders to the small counties, while the small counties are transmitting them to each township pavilion, and then the pavilion chief and township head are transmitting the news to each village. No one dared to disobey Lu Xian's orders, whether it was the officials in the county or the managers below. Lu Xian is not only a county governor, but also a county magistrate of Dai County, controlling the political and military power of the entire Dai County. He can be said to be the local emperor of Dai County. And the meaning expressed by Lu Xian is also very clear. Who dares to stop him from opening the warehouse and releasing grain? Who dares to act on this matter? He is unforgivable. Not to mention. The grain that Lu Xian mentioned for opening the warehouse was not the war preparation grain from the Dai Jun granary, but the grain he brought himself. Try asking. Who would object? In just two days, Lu Xian's orders had already spread throughout all the towns and villages of Dai County, big and small. At first, many people simply couldn't believe this matter. But. When the first person who dared to try appeared and successfully received 50 kilograms of grain. 
crazy. Completely insane. The people rushed to the grain distribution point one after another to collect the grain. Nujiagu is a small village under the jurisdiction of Dai County. Next. A young historian spoke up and called out. Then, an old man with white hair and a hunched figure walked in unsteadily, leaning on a cane. Does the old man have registered residence in Daijun? Xiao Shi asked. Yes, yes. The old man trembled and said, Nujiagu, Nuran, cough cough cough, old man, my name is Nuran. Wait a moment. Xiao Shi opened Nujiagu's registered residence and quickly searched it. Soon, he found the name, confirmed it with the township head nearby, and then put a mark behind the name. Hello Mr. Nuran, we have verified your situation. Please go to the side to collect your food, said Xiao Shi. Okay, 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 thank you, sir, thank you, sir. The old man was taken aback for a moment. He had no idea that things would go so smoothly, and then quickly apologized to Xiao Shi. Don't thank me, sir. You should thank the county magistrate for his talent. Xiao Shirlian hurriedly said. Right, right, thank you, Lord Commandant. Thank you, Lord Commandant. The old man muttered incessantly, trembling as he walked to the side and received his fifty pounds of food. When he trembled and took the fifty pounds of grain from the hand of the little historian responsible for distributing it, his turbid eyes immediately turned red. Old tears streaming down my face. Thank you, Lord Commandant, thank you, Lord Commandant. He trembled and choked up, still muttering this sentence in his mouth. Such situations occur constantly in various towns and villages in Dai County. Whether it's the elderly, children, women, or men. At the moment when he took the fifty pounds of grain from Xiao Shi's hand, everyone's hearts were touched by it. Moving. Excited. Gratitude. Countless emotions flooded their minds. In the Han dynasty, kneeling ceremony was not popular. But. More than half of the people of Dai County, when they received the fifty pounds of grain, their first reaction was to kneel down and kneel in the direction of the Dai County Magistrate's office. One week later. Twilight. Lu Xiangang has just returned from outside after inspecting the work of opening the warehouse and releasing grain. Before entering the prefect's mansion, I saw a large group of people standing outside in darkness. Among them, there are elderly people, children, women, and young men. Upon seeing Lu Xian's arrival, these people, led by a group of elderly people with white hair, knelt down towards Lu Xian in unison, stood up and shouted, Thank you, Lord Commandant. Your great kindness will never be forgotten by us forever. Seeing this, Lu Xian's nose was sore. What good people! What a simple people! He silently felt proud of his previous move of opening the warehouse and releasing grain. At the same time, a very strong desire sprouted in his heart. This wish is. The world is stable. He doesn't want such simple people to suffer again. Most readers come in and take a look. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Let's have a rule to add. During the new book period add one watch every 2,000 flowers. Add one update for every 1,000 review votes. Add one update for every 10 accumulated rewards. New books are guaranteed to have a minimum of 4 updates every day. Begging for flowers. Requesting tickets. Please give me a reward. Please do everything. Chapter 5. Replacing Work with Relief. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Thank you. The 100V reward for my child. Excited. Finally, there is a reward. Hurry up and add another wave after a great deal of effort, Lu Xian finally persuaded the people to leave. If you have the heart to plant seedlings, you can't do it. If you don't have the heart to plant willows, they will become shade. Lu Xian habitually opened the system panel, looked at the data on it, shook his head inside. Name. 
Lu Xian reputation. 214629 In just seven days, Lu Xian's reputation skyrocketed by 80,000. You should know. He was originally in Luoyang, but it took him over a month and he also borrowed a whole book of 300 Tang poems, earning a reputation of 130,000 yuan. The result is now. In just seven days, I earned 80,000 yuan. Returning to the prefectural mansion, the chief clerk Tian Cho had been waiting for a long time. Tian Cho, styled Zitai, was from Wuzhong County, Yubiping County. Chao Chao, the treacherous hero, praised him as elegant and well-prepared, loyal and skilled in martial arts, harmonious in pacifying subordinates, cautious in matters, adaptable in timing and reasoning, and harmonious in advancing and retreating. It can be concluded from this. Although Tian Cho was not very famous in the era of the Three Kingdoms when many strategists emerged, his talents and abilities were still decent. In fact, his abilities are indeed outstanding. Under his organization, the population census and grain distribution activities involving over 300,000 people in the entire county were carried out in an orderly manner. In fact, before Tian Cho volunteered to become the chief clerk, this activity did not go smoothly. Before Lu Xian's travels, he was just an ordinary third-year high school student. He had not yet attended university or stepped into society, so he did not have the experience of managing the overall situation and organizing such a large event. If it weren't for Tian Chao's joining, it is estimated that Lu Xian would still be busy coordinating and arranging various matters related to the population census at this time. Your Highness, County Magistrate. Seeing Lu Xian returning, Tian Cho quickly welcomed him. How is the situation going? Lu Xian asked. Thanks to the strong support of the prefecture magistrate, the policy of logging in registered residents and grain distribution is in progress. At present, the whole county has a monthly registered registered residents population of 250,000, of which 190,000 were originally registered, and the remaining 60,000 were newly registered registered residents. Among these 60,000 people, there are about 5,000 refugees from other counties. The 5,000 refugees have already dispersed them according to the instructions of the county magistrate and settled in various towns in Dai County. Tian Cho reported one by one to Lu Xianhui. Very good. Lu Xian nodded in satisfaction, pondered for a moment, and then said, It's time to start the second step of the plan. The second step plan. Tian Cho was puzzled. Zitai thinks that with just 50 kilograms of grain, how many days can the people eat it? Lu Xian asked. After a moment of silence, Tian Cho said, Based on two meals a day, children and elderly people can eat for half a month, while young adults can only eat for about a month. Yeah, at most we can only eat for a month. Lu Xian sighed and said, My county was already poor, and it happened to be a severe drought. Last year, the people almost had no harvest. After a month, when the people finished the food I distributed, they will definitely return to the appearance of hell on earth seven days ago. They will peel the bark and grass roots, and eat easily. Tian Chao's eyes gradually turned red. He suddenly bowed deeply to Lu Xian and said, Please teach me, Lord Commandant. Teaching people to fish is better than teaching them to fish. The next day. At the entrance of major and small county towns in Dai County. The new decree has been posted again. There are three decrees in total. The first provision is that the county governor's office will invest in the reconstruction of the city walls in various county towns within the county, recruit laborers, and manage their meals. They will have three meals a day, and there will also be a monthly salary of one stone of grain per person. Secondly, hunters can exchange their prey for food at various county offices, and each county office will purchase the prey at a price 10% higher than the market price. The reason why he wants to acquire prey is because Lu Xian wants to train soldiers, and he is also an elite soldier. To train an elite soldier, it is necessary to provide them with sufficient nutrition. In addition to rice, we also have to eat vegetables and meat. 
Although meat can be purchased in the system mall, the price is a bit expensive. In the short term, the supply is good, but if Lu Xian spends a long time buying meat through the mall to supplement the energy and nutrition of the trained soldiers, he is likely to be bankrupt in no time. So, he only thought of exchanging food for meat with the people. The third article is the military recruitment policy of the prefectural governor's office. The recruited individuals will be personally trained by prefectural governor Lu Xian. During the training period, they will be responsible for food, housing, and clothing, with three meals a day and a monthly salary of five stones of grain. But this is subject to strict conditions, and only those who meet these conditions are eligible to be recruited as as soon as these three policies were issued, the people of this county immediately became excited again. Especially the last one has the greatest appeal to the people. Manage food, housing, and satiety. Three meals a day, with meat every meal, and a monthly salary of five stones of grain. For the people of Dai County, this is like dreaming. For a moment, the recruitment office of this county government was directly overwhelmed by the crazy people. Lu Xian even heard that even 11 or 12 year old children have gone to the recruitment office to sign up. However, a few days later, as more and more people who applied were rejected, the recruitment office gradually returned to normal. Those who dare to come and sign up now are a group of people with relatively strong bodies. This day, Dai County Recruitment Office. A strong man, nine feet long, with a beard two feet long, a face as heavy as a jujube, lips as smooth as grease, phoenix eyes and silkworms, and a dignified and imposing appearance, walked in. Sir, do you think someone can be selected? The person asked the recruiting officer, Xiao Xiu. Xiao Xiu quickly glanced at the person and nodded, saying, it shouldn't be a problem. You can report your name and I will help you register it. My name is. Chapter 6 Major Construction Projects You are listening at NovelFull.audio The recruitment lasted for half a month, and in the end, Lu Xian recruited a total of 3,000 people. Of course. It's just a matter of claiming 3,000 people to the public, the actual number is still 3,000, a total of 6,000. The reason for doing so is that the Yellow Turban Uprising has not yet erupted, and the ruling power of the court over the entire world is becoming increasingly weak due to the incompetence of two consecutive emperors. But as the saying goes, a skinny camel is bigger than a horse. Lu Xian didn't want to be targeted by the court because he had raised too many troops. And 3,000 people, no more, no less, just right. Of course. During these 10 days, Lu Xian has not been idle. To be honest, Lu Xian does not deny that he was a lazy person before his time traveling. But now, after traveling to this world for three or four months and witnessing the suffering of the people, I don't know why. Even though Tian Cho had already handled his work very well, as a county magistrate, he could entrust all his work to the people below. He could comfortably stay in his county magistrate's mansion, drink tea, sleep, flirt with maids, and so on. But unfortunately, he just can't stay idle. Whenever he wants to slack off, he can't help but recall what he has seen and heard over the past three months in his mind. An unprecedented sense of responsibility suddenly enveloped him. This may be what the old class often tells us about, growth. For the past 10 days, Lu Xian has been busy making cement. Yes, you're not mistaken, it's just cement. As for the formula of cement, he purchased it from the system mall and spent a full 5,000 reputation points. However, Lu Xian thinks it's quite worth it. Cement, this is an infrastructure artifact. Within 10 days, he summoned almost all the craftsmen from the entire county to work together to study cement and produce cement. Thanks to the help of the cement formula produced by the system, a craftsman successfully refined the cement that night. Lu Xian directly rewarded the craftsmen with 500 stones of grain. Xian Jin buys horse bones. The effect is remarkable. 
the craftsman who received Lu Xian's reward knelt down directly towards him, wailing and grateful, which was a thrill. And the other craftsmen showed envy one by one. Subsequently, Lu Xian took advantage of the hot iron and announced the rules for rewards. Anyone who can improve or even invent various practical tools will be rewarded. On the spot, Lu Xian could clearly feel that these craftsmen were all fighting like chickens, working hard and being proactive. Since the cement has been produced, the next step is to expand production. Lu Xian immediately arranged for craftsmen and recruited laborers to build cement factories near the 11 major counties in Dai County, and then began production without stopping. Of course. It is impossible to pour all the city walls with cement. Cement alone is not the most sturdy, while reinforced concrete is the most sturdy. But during this period, there was such a shortage of iron that Lu Xian had to settle for second place and add hard stones to the city walls. Fortunately, Dai County has abundant mineral resources. Then, there were new questions. Although there are abundant stone resources in various parts of Dai Jun, the roads in Dai Jun are really terrible and require a lot of effort to transport the mined stones. In Lu Xian's view, except for the official road that connects major county towns, which is barely accessible, the other roads are not roads at all. It was bumpy, muddy, and covered with wild grass, with large and small pits scattered all over. If you want to be rich, first build roads. At this moment, Lu Xian finally understood the true meaning of this sentence from his past life. Your path is not good, even if you want to develop, you cannot develop. So, the originally planned reconstruction of the city wall has been replaced by road construction. First, repair the roads between the 11 major counties in Dai County, then repair the roads from each major county to small counties, and from small counties to towns. When news came out that Lu Xian had to first build the road and also had to extend it to various villages, the people of Dai County were moved to tears one by one. Then, his reputation value experienced a surge once again. After all, compared to rebuilding city walls, building roads is directly related to the daily lives of the people. In the past 10 days, what Lu Xian referred to as the Daijun population census activity has continued smoothly. Although most of the local people in Daijun have already registered, there are many refugees who have heard of the news of opening warehouses and releasing grain in Daijun coming to Daijun every day and eventually settling down in Daijun. The population of Dai County has also exceeded the 300,000 mark. Your Highness, County Magistrate. A little historian walked in. What's up? Lu Xian looked up and said. The recruitment work has been completed, and all the 6,000 young men you requested have now been arranged in the military camp outside the city, said Xiao Shi. Okay, let's go down. Lu Xian waved his hand and said casually, Thank you all for your hard work. Upon hearing this, the little historian trembled all over. A touch of indescribable shock and emotion suddenly appeared on that tired face. His eyes turned slightly red. No hard work, my subordinate doesn't work hard. Your Highness, I will leave first. Xiao Shi quickly pushed out the study. Today's first update. The sixth update within 24 hours of publishing. Some readers have said that this time point is a bit too early, but it's not early because the author's sauce gave the protagonist's golden finger, which is not an exaggerated way to summon tens of thousands of troops directly. It's just an ordinary material provided by the golden finger. The protagonist needs some time to develop and transform these materials into strength, so time is necessary. And the protagonist also needs time to grow. The protagonist before crossing the time is just a high school third year student, cannot grow all at once. Finally, please ask for flowers. Please ask for tickets. Please reward. Please everything. Chapter 7 Changes after one month. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Dice Yen, East, in a valley. The scorching sun is shining brightly. 
the six thousand young men recruited were standing upright under the sun, neat and motionless. If there were future generations present at this time, they would definitely be able to recognize what they were doing. Yes. They are standing in a military posture. Standing in a military posture does not directly enhance the combat effectiveness of the army, but it can temper the tenacity of soldiers, hone their indomitable perseverance, and most importantly, refine their steel-like discipline. Discipline is extremely important for the military. Without a disciplined army, it cannot be called a military. They should be called bandits and bandits. Just like the yellow scarf bandits four years later. Although it was grand and had a force of nearly 400,000 soldiers, due to lack of discipline, shortly after the uprising, facing the well-organized imperial army, it suffered successive defeats and ultimately ended in a disastrous defeat. The line poem in The Sixth Day of the Teacher's Day states, When a teacher comes out, he follows the law, but if he does not hide it, it will lead to misfortune. The meaning of this sentence is that the military must strictly enforce discipline when going to war, otherwise they will be defeated. Try asking. Does an undisciplined army really listen to the commands of its officers? Even if they listen, how high will their execution power be? So, the first step for Lu Xian to train these 6,000 new recruits was to stand in a military posture. Two hours a day, one hour in the morning and one hour in the afternoon. At first, there were some doubts about Lu Xian's training method among the 6,000 new recruits. But then, their doubts were completely dispelled. Because, at their forefront, at the forefront of the queue, Lu Xian stood straight and straight. Lead by example. They stand for two hours, and Lu Xian will also stand for two hours. After Lu Xian stood up straight in front of everyone, there was no more doubt among the crowd. Lu Xuanji will train with the new recruits not only to ensure that they exercise honestly according to their own methods, but also for two other purposes. Firstly, it is to exercise one's own body. The systems obtained by Lu Xian were not like those in the novels he had read before his travels, which could directly enhance his physical fitness and give him the power to conquer the three armies. Therefore, if Lu Xian wants to gain strength, there is only one way. That's training. His second goal is to fully gain the loyalty of these 6,000 new recruits. After all, there is a saying that goes like this. The toughest relationship in the world is to cross the window together, become a soldier together, go to jail together, and have sex together. Except for two hours of standing posture every day, Lu Xian instructed them to perform basic line-up movements, such as standing at attention, taking a break, squatting, sitting down, walking in unison, taking a step forward, running, and so on. The benefits of this training are obvious. Within two weeks, the originally scattered and disorderly 6,000 new recruits have now taken on the appearance of the most elite imperial guards of the Han dynasty. Be able to implement preliminary orders and prohibitions. One month later. In the valley. 121-121-121. Stand at attention, take a break. Walk in unison. Da 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 da. Step forward. Step. 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 As Lu Xian watched the 6,000 soldiers marching neatly in the distance, a proud smile gradually appeared on his face. A month ago, not to mention letting 6,000 of them walk straight, even if we randomly selected 100 of them and asked them to line up and stand at attention, it would be difficult for them to stand straight. But now, it's completely different. It's time to move on to the next step of planning. Lu Xian murmured. That evening, 6,000 new recruits had just finished their meal when they were summoned together by the instructors. Then, the instructors announced Lu Xian's new order. Three days later, a martial arts performance will be held, at which 60 centurions and 6,000 captains will be elected. A centurion earns 10 stones of grain per month, 
while a centurion earns 100 stones of grain per month. As soon as the news is out. Suddenly, the whole scene became a sensation. Everyone rubbed their fists and heels, eagerly anticipating the martial arts performance three days later. Among the crowd. The strong man who was nine feet long and had two feet long beard unconsciously stroked his long beard, his eyes flickering. It's exactly what people are looking forward to. Looking at the eager crowd, Lu Xian sighed. On the way back to the prefectural mansion, Lu Zunshundo went to see the progress of the construction of the cement road again. The laying of the cement road went smoothly. According to the estimation of Xiaoxi, who is responsible for managing road construction, it is estimated that in two months, the roads between the eleven county towns in Dai County should be completed. On the way back, I don't know who leaked the news. Then, the people from nearby towns and villages came upon hearing the news and surrounded Lu Xian's convoy in groups. Still the same as before. The leaders are still those elderly people with white hair. Under the leadership of those elderly people, the people expressed various thanks and gratitude to Lu Xian. Lu Xian had a big mouth and his throat was almost dry, which was why he persuaded them all to go back. Whispering. Looking for free flowers and review tickets. Seeking rewards. Seeking everything. The seventh update within 24 hours of the new book release. Chapter 8 Guan Yuyun You are listening at NovelFull.audio Your Highness, County Magistrate Returning to the prefectural mansion, Tian Cho had been waiting for a long time. After a month, Tian Cho noticeably lost a big circle. Zitai Lu Xian looked at Tian Cho, whose face was full of fatigue, and said, You've worked hard. Tian Cho smiled slightly and said, It's all worth it. As the only strategist under Lu Xian's command, Tian Cho now has to manage not only population census activities, but also coordinate the resettlement of foreign refugees, and also take care of Lu Xian's road construction plan. He is extremely busy. Almost every day, I go out early and return late, so it's normal to lose weight. It's not enough just for Tian Cho alone. It seems like he's going to recruit a few strategists. Lu Xian murmured in his heart. After listening to Tian Chao's routine report, Lu Xian felt a little uneasy as he looked at Tian Cho, who was walking a bit shaky because he was too tired. So, he didn't give Tian Cho a chance to refuse at all, and directly ordered him to go home and rest for three days. At the same time, he spent a whole thousand reputation points to purchase a large tonic medicine from the system mall as a gift for him. Although Lu Xianming knew that without Tian Chao's management, the construction of the entire Dai County would stagnate, he still did so. This is not that Lu Xian is deliberately trying to buy people's hearts, but rather that he is really worried about Tian Chao's health. After Tian Cho left, Lu Xian sat quietly in his study, lost in thought, and once again pondered about recruiting new advisors. In my mind, a personal name began to jump out. Li Ru, Jia Su, Sun Yu, Sun Yu, and so on. But they were all rejected by Lu Xian. Because it's too unrealistic. Lu Xian is a bit self-aware, his high reputation is limited to Dai County and one or two counties around Dai County. He doesn't have such a high reputation at all. He went to recruit Li Ru, Jia Su, and others, and asked them to give up their current official positions and go to Dai Jun, a poor and remote place, to work for him. Ah! Sorrow! Lu Xian couldn't help but let out a long sigh. Three days later. Dai Xian East, within the valley. After three days of construction, a huge arena has been completed. During these three days, the soldiers who wanted to compete for the positions of centurion and centurion have also signed up with the instructors. With the order of Lu Xian, the martial arts performance began slowly. Among the 6,000 new recruits, there were over 200 registered. At first, Lu Xian did not put his mind too much on the martial arts competition, and he was still thinking about recruiting strategists. 
Due to Tian Chao's strong command to rest, the construction speed of Dai County has significantly slowed down in the past three days. This forced Lu Xian to devote most of his attention to recruiting new strategists. Just as Lu Xian was troubled by the issue of recruiting new strategists. Suddenly. Wow. A sudden cry of surprise erupted below. Lu Xian quickly regained his senses and focused his gaze. Only seen above the arena. A young man in his twenties was fiercely fighting with a strong man who was nine feet tall and had a beard that was two feet long. One punch. One kick. The strength between the two is called one big. Ho ho ho. Fists and feet cut through the air, even making a chilling sound of breaking through the air. The long bearded man swept out with a fierce sweep. The young man's reaction was also extremely fast, as he easily dodged the attack of a long bearded man on his side. So. The long bearded man kicked fiercely on a towering piece of wood at the edge of the arena. I only heard a click wipe sound, and the wood, which was as thick as the mouth of a bowl, was kicked and broken by the long bearded man. Wow. The onlookers below once again made a loud noise. The youth is also a ruthless character who was not intimidated by the terrifying power of the bearded man. Holding his fist, he struck a straight punch towards the face of the long bearded man. The long bearded man dodged on his side, causing the young man's fist to smash into the air. However, the youth changed their tactics at the first opportunity. The whole person jumped up in one fell swoop. With one powerful move, he swung his arm like a giant axe towards the long bearded man. Good time. The long bearded man burst out laughing heartily, not dodging, but instead punching in. One move. Two moves. Three moves. In the blink of an eye, the two had already passed sixty or seventy moves. Gradually, the youth began to struggle to keep up with the attack of the bearded man. After ten moves. The long bearded man punched fiercely. Not good. The young man quickly waved his hand to defend. Although he timely blocked the attack of the long bearded man, he was directly thrown out and fell off the arena under his immense strength. The winner. Guan Yu. The referee on the side shouted loudly. Guan. Yu. Lu Xian had always thought that the long bearded man was a bit familiar, but now when he heard these two words, he was immediately stunned. Next up. He quickly asked the little historian beside him, what kind of person is that Guan Yu? I hereby report to the prefect of the county. His surname is Guan Mingyu and his courtesy name is Yun Chang. He is Jie County in Hadong County. He fled his hometown and settled in Yuzhou due to a crime. He originally lived in Zhuo County, but later heard that the prefect was recruiting soldiers in Dai County. Sleeping Slot Eighth update within 24 hours of publishing. Looking for free flowers. Looking for free review tickets. Looking for rewards. Looking for everything. Wishing. Thank you for the 100V reward of 135. 1959. 7048. And thank you for the monthly pass of 1834. 6128.739. Chapter 9. Unexpected Joy. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. What Xiaoshi said later, Lu Xian no longer cared. When Lu Xian heard the seven characters, surname Guan, name Yu, character Yun Chang, his mind had already become blank. Immediately. Crazy. Unbreakable ecstasy. Endless ecstasy directly filled Lu Xian's heart. Guan Yu, Guan Yun Chang. This is a peerless warrior. This is what later generations will call a martial saint. Such a fierce general has now become his own weapon. Can Lu Xian not be excited? If it weren't for so many people watching at the scene, Lu Xian would have even looked up and burst out laughing. After being excited for a while, Lu Xian barely regained his senses. 
And at this moment, there have been several rounds of competition on the arena below. The young man who had fought against Guan Yu in 70 or 80 moves before being defeated once again took the stage. Under Lu Xian's gaze, he easily knocked his opponent off the ring in just a few seconds. The winner. Zhang Ren. The referee's announcement sounded again. Hmm. Zhang Ren. Lu Xian was momentarily stunned. Next up. My eyes suddenly widened, and the mood that had just calmed down became excited again. Wait. Zhang Ren. What did I miss just now? Sleeping slot. Shouldn't it be the Zhang Ren in my memory? It shouldn't be, isn't Zhang Ren from Shu County, Ijo? Can it be a duplicate name? With this in mind, Lu Xian once again asked the little historian beside him, Who is this Zhang Ren? I hereby report to the governor of the county that this person is from the Shu County of Ijo. Lying trough. The names are the same, and they are from the same place. An incredibly bold guess arose in Lu Xian's heart. Shouldn't that be the Zhang Ren I imagined? Thinking of this, Lu Xian asked again, Since you are from Ijo, why did you come all the way to Yuzhou? According to Zhang Ren's statement, the county governor was free to leave home and studied under the master Tong Yuan. He had just graduated from Tong Yuan's sect a month ago and heard about the county governor's opening of warehouses to distribute grain and love the people like children. It happened to be the time when the governor recruited soldiers. Xiao Shi spoke up. Suddenly enlightened. After listening to Xiao Shi's explanation, Lu Xian suddenly realized. Immediately. A face full of ecstasy. Although Zhang Ren's military strength is clearly not as good as Guan Yu's, he was able to defeat Guan Yu after 80 or 90 moves, and his military strength is definitely not low. And what Lu Xian values the most is Zhang Ren's loyalty and bravery. After all, he was one of the few subordinates of Lu Zhang who did not seek refuge with Lu Bei when he entered Shu and would rather die than surrender. Besides that, since Zhang Ren has now defected to himself, it will provide a channel for Lu Xian to subdue Zhao Yun and Zhao Zilong in the future. After all, isn't it normal for Junior Brother to come and find him after he has graduated? The martial arts competition is still ongoing. From morning till night. It took a whole day for all 60 centurions and 6 centurions to take their positions. Lu Xian warmly met with them and had a big meal together. Continuing. At the banquet, Lu Xian appointed Guan Yu and Zhang Ren as captains in front of all the centurions and centurions, each leading 3,000 soldiers. No one present opposed Lu Xian's decision. After all, they are convinced of the martial arts skills of Guan Yu and Zhang Ren. On the contrary, Guan Yu and Zhang Ren were both excited and incoherent. It's not surprising. Firstly, Guan Yu, although possessing martial arts skills, was ultimately a fugitive before that. Now, overnight, he has become the captain in charge of 3,000 soldiers and horses. Can he not be excited? Next is Zhang Ren. Zhang Ren Kai has just graduated from the Tong Yuan sect and is still a young boy. However, in less than a month and a half since his graduation, he has become a captain with 3,000 soldiers and horses. Can he not be excited? Amidst their excitement, the two of them showed even greater respect for Lu Xian. As the saying goes, a scholar dies for a confidant, and a woman faces for a confidant. Before today, the two of them were just ordinary people. However, Lu Xian, the prefect of the Dai County, and Lu Xian, the prefect of the Dai County, valued themselves so much that they even promoted themselves and others to become captains. They were inexplicably moved in their hearts. When Lu Xian saw the touching faces of the two, he knew. He has secured the loyalty of these two generals. It's night. County Governor's Office. Lu Xian is flipping through the road construction reports from various counties. As I flipped over, I couldn't help but laugh at the thought of suddenly having two more generals for no reason. At this moment. 
footsteps could be heard outside the study. Next up. Tian Cho walked in quickly. After three days of rest, Tian Chao's expression clearly improved a lot. Your Highness, County Magistrate. Tian Cho arched his hand. Zitai, how are you recuperating? Is your body okay? Lu Xian put down the document in his hand and asked with a smile. Thank you for your concern. I have almost recovered, said Tian Cho. What can I do for you? Lu Xian asked. I am here to recommend a talented person, said Tian Cho. Oh. Lu Xian's eyes lit up and he quickly asked, who is that? What he lacks now is talented people. Tian Cho smiled slightly and said, this person is from Zhuo County. Looking for flower evaluation tickets. The ninth update within 24 hours.